Edson right here. Mm -hmm. So another fight week underway. Uh, how are you feeling a couple days before uh, your latest fight? Feel great. Uh, it's one more fight week. I think that's going to be my third fight in UFC. The most important, I'm very happy, you know. I really enjoy the whole process, and yeah, I'm very, very happy. And, you know, back in the apex, what are your thoughts on that? Because obviously they need a type of legend or a superstar to headline these events, but at the same time, you know, your last fight in front of a crowd would have been ridiculous. I'm a fighter, you know. <laughs> Of course, I, I, I love to fight in front of the people, you know. I love to hear the people, whoa, whoa. But I'm a fighter, you know. Uh, I, I, I think the cage, inside the cage, does not change, you know. It's still the same. It doesn't matter if you have some people around or not. On the apex, I have, you know, little people. But I'm a fighter, you know. I, to be honest, I, want, I love to fight. I don't. You know, worry about much the people around me. And so, you know, I know it doesn't make a big difference to you, but th there is still kind of like a business aspect to the MMA game. So I if you had a choice, would you rather headline an Apex event or be on the main card of a pay-per-view? Oh, uh, like I said, for me, it's not, it's the same, you know. <laughs> I love to fight. I don't care it's going to be an Apex or, 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 or on the you know, in a big state. Uh, I'm a fighter. I love to fight. Uh, you know, for me, it's 50-50. And so now you fought a lot of great fighters in your career. Next up is Lerone Murphy, another, you know, younger, hungry contender. Uh, what are your thoughts on him, and what do you expect from him in the cage? Uh, he's a really good fighter. You know, he, 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 he show, you know, he have a six fight in UFC, but he show he's one of the best. Of course, UFC don't give him a chance to fight the main event because uh, he's a nice guy. He, he's fighting the main event because he deserves because he's really good. Uh, it's going to be a war, like always, you know. Everybody knows every time I was stepping in octagon, I'm ready for war. And I think it's Saturday is not going to be different. You know, I know every time we talk to you, you just let us know you don't really care too much about the opponent. You're not very picky. But with the win here, do you get a little bit more picky? Because I, I, I'm, I'd imagine you want to, you know, climb up the rankings and not have to just keep fighting these guys that are trying to make a name off of you. To be honest, I don't like, you know, picking much, you know, because I believe some people need to call some names I think I don't need, man. Everything that I show for you guys, you know, in 30 fights, I don't need to pick a name. I deserve, to be honest, you know. And, yeah, that's what I think. And so I have just one more question for you. You know, uh, we heard a little bit from Lerone Murphy before, a little bit from Sadiq Yusuf, your past opponents, and they say that you're the kind of opponent that they get a little bit of, like, awestruck in the moment, like, oh, my gosh, I'm fighting Edson Barbosa. So what are, what are your thoughts on that and, you know, them having to kind of deal with that a little bit? To be honest, you know, I don't think about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Edson, uh, you picked up your first main event win in, in your last fight after going 0-3. How did that feel? Feel great, you know, especially because I have a chance to fight five rounds, you know. I train for five rounds the other fights, but, yeah, I don't have a chance to fight five rounds. But this one, I fought five rounds, and, and I love it. Like I said, the more time in the cage, the more I'm happy. Uh, I'm very happy. And then um, before you call it a career, do you have to fight for the BMF title? Because I feel like if there's one BMF fighter in the, in the UFC, it's got to be you. You, you fought in everybody. You said, bro. <laughs> have the one guy to deserve to fight BMF title? It's me. Because who's have a better highlight than knockout in UFC than me? <laughs> bro. Imagine him a fight me. Bro. I love Max Holloway. He, he's one of my favorite fights ever. I love to watch him. Very nice guy, very family guy. And imagine a fight, me against him with the BMF belt. Crazy. You know? Crazy. It's going to be very, very good for me, for him, for the company. And like I said, man, I have a 30 fights. That my next one's going to be my third fight in the UFC. I think I deserve that, man. Well, of course, my focus 100% on the next one. But. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. 
I mean, I, I'd watch that fight, absolutely. Um, what did you think of Max Holloway's knockout of, uh, of uh, Gaethje at, at UFC 300? Bro, he, like I said, man, I love him. I love to watch a whole fight. You know, he's so hard. He's a great striker. He play everywhere. He, he won, definitely one of my favorite fight ever to watch, man. And I think he, he, he won the best ever. It's going to be a pleasure share the octagon with him. Thanks, man. Like you mentioned, you've been in the UFC now roughly 13 and a half years. Like you said, 30th fight. When you came in, when you were roughly, I'm guessing, 24, 25 years old, did you ever think that you would be in the UFC having your 30th fight and still more to come? To be honest, I, I, I don't look much forward, you know. I do step by step, you know, fight by fight. And I'm still here. I'm still the same hungry. I'm still, you know, I still keep going, still getting better. And when I look back, I was like, wow, that, that's, I have a beautiful life. You know, I really enjoy it. Like you said, you're still trying to get better. Are you still learning new tricks? I mean, are you still learning new, new techniques, new things? I mean, is it from the, the new guys coming in, or is it just you reevaluating and figuring things out? But you are still learning new tricks to the trade? Of course. Of course, you have to. If I stop learning, I stop fight. Because, you know, the MMA... It's a it's new sport. It's not a, you know, especially right now, since you see that there are a lot of young comers with different techniques. You see, a couple of years ago, you don't see much people fighting the both stains. Right now, everybody fighting with the both stains. You need to learn. You need to get better every single day. That's one thing that motivates me. Go to the gym every single day and learn something new. That's making me, you know, keep going because I know I have a lot of things to, to learning. Going off of that, I know a lot of fighters when they've gotten into the, the sport look at you as an inspiration and look at somebody that they look at the things you've done. Are there some fighters that you can maybe name new fighters that you find inspiration you think like, wow, this kid's really something or this guy's going to be something. Are there any names of people that you admire that are new to the sport that are people that you got your eye on? Yes, of course. I have a you know, couple new guys, of course. But I'm real inspiration with the, 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 the old guys, you know, yeah. because I know how hard this back the day. Yeah. I can't imagine how hard, you know. This motivated me a lot to, to keep going. But, yeah, I have a lot of new young guys, really, really good, getting better every single day. That's motivated me to keep going, yeah. to try to catch up with kids. Well, and... Again, you're 38, you got Jim Miller, who's 40, who's fighting. What did you think about his last performances or just how he's been recently? Maybe not the last performance, but recently he's still fighting some of his best, best MMA right now. He's still fighting the high level, <laughs> you know? He, he, he's fighting UFC 300 against Bob Green. It's yeah. a great fight, you know? Bob Green catching him with a couple shots, but great fight. He's keep going, man. I think it. it you need to fight more because he still put some show, you know. You see a lot of, especially the young kids today, I think the most kids don't fight for a win. The most important on the kids' minds is not lose. It's don't worry about, you know, the win and make some boring fight. And you see Jim Miller, he keep going, he keep go hard, go to real fight. That's the most people like it to watch, you know. That's... You see the difference for the young guys and the old guys. That's I said, the, the old guys motivate me more. Is, has your, how much has your training in a fight camp changed from when you were first starting to now? I'm sure you have to take care of the recovery for your body a lot more so, but is it completely night and day of what, how you started to where you are now? Bro, it's changed a lot. When I was a kid, I was, when I moved to West, when I signed UFC, I wake up 4 a.m. for to cheat for teach some private class. I would stay in the gym four to, to one, go home, eat, back to the gym, go four to eight. You know, train all day, kill myself all day, run every day, lift weight every day, eat really, really bad, you know. And right now, when you get older, you, have, you need to learn, you know. Right now, I try, you know, do everything right. Hear my body, hear my, 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 my mind, and that's what I said. I feel better than ever. And what's the perfect number of fights for you in a year? If you could pick how many? Three. Three? Yeah, three is perfect for me. 
Sounds, sounds pretty good. Uh, keys to the victory. What needs to happen to make sure you get your hands raised on Saturday? Give my best. I think that's going to be the key for this fight. If I go there, give my 100%, give my best, I want to win this fight. Can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan, for taking the time. Let me just circle back to what we were talking about with Kenny, how fighters you know, maybe want to fight, not, you know, not necessarily to win, but not to lose. What has changed? What, in your professional opinion, as someone from that cloth of like a Jim Miller, Donald Cerrone, Nate Diaz, anytime, anywhere, but now it's a little different to where guys want to protect the ranking, don't take you know, the losses if possible. What, what changed? What, what happened? I don't know, because I believe the, the, the young guys looking for the UFC for the business, you know? Just worry about to be famous and make money. When I signed the UFC, I, to be honest, on that time, I don't worry about the money. I want fight. That's it. I don't care it's going to be pay me. I, I talked to the kids a couple of days ago in the gym. I remember my first MMA fight. He, he talked about his fight. He, I, say, I asked him, he said, why you don't fight, bro? He said, oh, it's not good money, but he's have a one or two professional fight. I would say, bro, my first six fight out of UFC, I remember I, the guy paid me 200 plus 200, bro. What are you talking about? You know, the kids don't want to fight to be, because he's a fighter. He's on to fight for the business, for the money, to be famous. You know, I think that's the big difference. The old guys, when they're the kids right now. Yes, sir. I, I agree, and that's a great. Thank you for that insight. Mm -hmm. um, you, as a as a veteran, as someone who carries the the sport and represents the UFC proudly, you're still a student of the game. You still get excited. Just even the, the energy right now is so awesome. How do you find that 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 drive, but still pick up some new tricks along the way, new things in the gym, something new to where you can say, ah, oh, you know what? I haven't tried that before. Let's let's put let's add this to the Edson Barbosa weapons yeah like i said i try getting better every day to be honest i try getting better every single day every time i go to gym i try learn something and it's a lot of, you know i looking back uh, i just train 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 specific things i try to do something different some you know i swim i do bike i do a couple different things help me a lot you know not only physically but especially mentally and I start learning about that, you know, because physically uh, everybody can do it, but be strong here, that's the hard part. And yes, I get focused on last year and this year. Don't not only stay in the gym training crazy, always try, you know, do some different things. I think that's I'm best in shape of my life. Uh, one of the best camp I have in my career. That's I'm very happy. Excellent. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And to what you and Alex were talking about. You, Max Holloway, take my money. Can't wait if that ever happens. You hear, guys? Please. Thank Donna, you. you hear that? Thank you, sir. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you.